because honestly, like yeah. for me, I, I had seen I'd seen your your comment about you know individuals needing support and I guess just for me on my end, I just don't feel educated enough at all as an uh, as an American half the time. So I came I came to it from you know maybe people need to learn about what's going on first and then decide you know what course of action and the different ways that they mm-hmm. can try to make a difference. So yeah, that's why in my mind, there's so many things going on right now that are so insane. And as one of those, I guess, Americans who just didn't really think about a lot of things for a long time and, you know, how, how it affects different, different people when, you know, all of a sudden rights are just like, disappearing decimated left and right um so i think that's why in my mind i i had picked um the ending gun violence in america i had found this one particular organization that i've been reading about and hearing about on the news a lot so i looked into it uh called moms demand action and then just in Mm. terms of the sandy hook promise i mean that was the that was the horrific um, school shooting that occurred like 10 years ago. Um, with the little, the with little, the little baby ones. babies. Yeah. So, and I know baby that has babies. a lot of thing about gun regulations. And I like that. I, I mean, at the end of the day, a lot of these places, right. They're asking for donations or whatever, but they're also giving you options on how you can support, whether it's p- signing a petition, whether it's Uh, being a part of different rallies that are going on or like different days. Like I think this is where orange weekend, um, you know, for gun violence, gun control, gun safety. Um, So it's like, you know, they're just advocating, Hey, wear orange, show your show, show that you support, um, you know, trying to end gun violence um, in America. And then just like, you know, just what everybody's rights are at the end of the day and how, Mm -hmm. how they're just, a thing that I guess I've always kind of thought would always be there and just aren't anymore. Um, So that's kind of why I had picked like, you know, especially like the voting, the vote.gov in my mind, you know, that's the one, that's the one part where we can try to make a difference is by voting. Like that's where our voice is. Um, You know, at the end of the day, at least in my mind as an American, you know, if you don't, if you don't have, if you don't have the ability to vote or you don't know how, you don't know how to get started, you know, sometimes it's just reading or getting some assistance and figuring that out. So that was kind of my take yeah. on, um, you know, the causes. No, I think, I think that's a really good idea because it's like in the UK, of course, it's very blanket, isn't it? But you mm-hmm. guys are just 50 different countries that are forced to share the same landmass. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, and may- maybe y'all don't agree with sharing the same landmass. Maybe some <laughs> of you are like, but we could leave. And, you know, so I think that's the best way to go go about it. There's not one kind of blanket thing that you can do that go, yes, this and this will affect everything. So it's educate yourself in your area, you know, speak to your, what the hell do you call them? We call them MPs. What the hell do you call them? I mean, they're representatives, congressmen, senators. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Speak speak to your people, like vote. And especially with the, you know, the really let's not mince words racist like Mm -hmm. voter id Mm -hmm. laws and stuff that are being passed in various places yeah that kind of information is probably really helpful to you know people like how to get around that what you need you know Mm -hmm. make sure you're prepared yeah whereas that's not as big a as big a thing for us it's kind of kind of blanket although they're they're talking about bringing um mandatory id in for voting over here um, mm. So I don't know. I don't know how that's going to go. Um, best to look to them because you don't need, you don't need anything here. You just turn up. They send you a little card in the mm-hmm. post, mm-hmm. and it's yeah. like this is where your polling station is, and this is the date that the election is taking place, and it tells you like what election it is. Mm-hmm. And then in massive letters it says you do not need this card to vote. You just turn up and give him your name. Yeah, I they're mean, not asked for. That's could give him any yeah. name in the world. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but I also think, you know, there's profiling, right? So I know that myself going in to vote, you know, more often than not, I'm, I always bring my ID. I could tell you I've maybe been asked for it once every time I voted. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sure that's not the shared experience 
from, you know, with millions of other people who are voting in this, in this country. So yeah, it's, I guess that was my thought process. And I know we've continued to, you know, offer some links, you know, for Ukraine. No, that's fine. I do think it's important to keep signposting the Ukraine. Um, Mm -hmm. What did, what did we call it? It's not, it's not the relief. conflict in Ukraine. Yeah, Ukraine relief. But yeah, um, yeah we were like... Yeah. <laughs> no, we were the, pretty um, specific. <laughs> yeah, the invasion yeah. of the Ukraine by yeah. Russian forces. That's it's not a conflict. Yeah, no, no, no. But it's it's sort of, it's kind of falling out of, of the media. Yeah. Now. Because something else is you know, coming up and something else is coming up. And there was... um a killing fucking babies in Texas. And then there was, was a shooting. shooting in Philadelphia um, oh last God. night. Uh, 14 shot three dead. Um, and it barely makes a blip. That's what's so, so insane. Yeah. Yeah. There was, I saw, I saw a tweet and there was, there was the shooting in Tulsa, wasn't there, in the hospital Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in Oklahoma. And then there was another shooting at a hospital in Dayton, Ohio. Mm-hmm. That didn't even make the news yeah. because of the shooting in Oklahoma. Like, what the fuck are you like? Not you personally, Sandra. And I'm sure everyone who's listening to this podcast is reasonable, and you know doesn't follow Dean Winchester guns out blazing. Mm-hmm. What the fuck are you doing over there? Like, yeah. Yeah. seriously, y'all people yeah. don't like. I don't. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I wish I could. Wish I could snap fingers and fix the insanity i don't i don't know the more i'm reading about you know other countries and how you know they have the same issues we do we don't we don't deal with the guns the way every other country does and that's why we're in this situation yeah that's that's it that's the only difference like the uk (laughs) we deal with poverty we deal with racism we deal with classism to an extent Mm -hmm. you know there's the our country's on its fucking knees at the moment so many people are you know below the poverty line now Mm -hmm. the big difference is we don't have guns Mm -hmm. like don't get me wrong don't get me wrong knife crime is a horrific horrific problem in the in the uk Mm -hmm. especially in the major cities you know Mm -hmm. london is rife with knife crime but the thing about a knife is it's only so fast you can stab people yeah and it just don't measure up. And I'm not, I'm not excusing knife crime. I'm not glorifying it or, you know, trying to brush it aside in any way. It's a real problem and we do need to address it. But, you know, it's like a bike versus a tank. Right. There's a you reason just... why people say, oh, why are you bringing a knife to a gunfight? It's like, because exactly. it's not going to, the carnage, the the way it multiplies and becomes just this atrocity with a gun, with an assault weapon, with, you know, it's just, it's, it's night and day. Um, Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, um, yeah, that's, I mean, that's how I've been kind of looking at it anyway. Like how, how can I educate myself um, to try to make a difference rather than, you know, just, I I mean, I'm sorry, like social media to me doesn't, you're not going to make a difference with a tweet, you know, you're just not, it's, it's, it's not going to, it's not going to make a profound difference. So I'd rather, what can I do, you know, here now, my community in small, you know, small parts, like building that up because I want to be able to know enough about what's going on with regulations within different States before I spout, you know, that knowledge Mm -hmm. because people are talking and they literally know nothing about what's actually going on half the time, or they're only hearing one side of it and they're hearing Mm -hmm. it from the news outlets that they are choosing to hear. And I don't know. I mean, I'm assuming it's, it's this way too for you, Carly, but I mean, we have very different, you know, news media here. Like we have Fox and we have like, you know, MSNBC. So we have, you know, super right. And then super left. And then some, somewhere in the middle Mm -hmm. is where I try to, figure out what's going on. But I literally cannot watch Fox News for more than three minutes without thinking, oh my God, no shit crazy. Like, but you no, know, no, 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 no. We like we see clips of like mm-hmm. Fox News. It's got that 
What's his freaking name? Tucker. It's Tucker Carlson, Tucker Carlson. that does Fox yeah. News. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. It's you. You could. You could smell the crazy on him. That man yeah. is not playing with a full deck of cards. No, we have. Our news isn't as outwardly right and left wing as it is in the US. You mm. know, at least, at least, like it is for the papers. Certainly, you certainly have. You know, a clear divide within the newspapers, but for um, like. TV news and stuff. It's it tries to be a little bit more, um, you know, balanced. Mm-hmm. But you can read between the lines and you can see what's happening and you can say, oh well, you know that that news outlet supports this and and that news outlet supports that. So I kind of end up trying to look at things from a, a few different places and mm-hmm. trying to put together an amalgamation of what might be the truth. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it's just, oh, it's just difficult. I mean, there are there are newspapers that I won't read, you know, so mm-hmm. they can have the most clickbaity articles in the world. And as soon as I see, like, it's the Sun or it's the Daily Mail, and I'm like, oh, yeah, oh, they nearly got me then, you know, because yeah. I don't even want to give them the ad view from a click. Yeah. Like, the however many t- pence it might be they get from me clicking on it. Mm-hmm. I don't even want to give them that. Yeah. It's just, it's just, it's a nightmare. It really is. But I think, like I said, for for you guys in the US, the best thing that we can signpost is places where you can be informed on your area. Mm -hmm. It's not as easy as it is in the UK. It's not as blanket. You know, one, it isn't one rule for all. So I definitely think that's the best thing to do on that perspective. Um, In terms of me, the... um, charities that i sort of want to want to promote are the more lgbtq Mm -hmm. charities because um (laughs) we can add it to the list of shit that's going crazy in the world right now you know the the gun fucking epidemic in the usa y'all have got your women's health rights that Mm -hmm. are you know being gently decimated yeah and like they're not even trying to hide it anymore Mm -hmm. they're just like (laughs) yeah no um and then you know obviously we've got what's going on in our country but the anti trans movement is picking up a lot of steam and i'm concerned mm-hmm. about it so i went looking for for things i wanted to signpost and like you sort of go to when you think about that kind of stuff is like stonewall you know the mm-hmm. the really big charities and i and I, I initially thought okay well I'll, I'll just signpost the stonewall because they have a presence in the usa and they have a presence in the uk um you know and it's in they're well known for sort of the first pride and, and things like that and then mm-hmm. when i actually looked into it kind of shady not like from a charity basis but from like again things that they've said about like trans people and marriage equality and things like that and i'm like mm, mm. no 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 mm-hmm. so one i've got is two different charities um to promote for this one one for the us and one for the uk um so the us one is the trevor project and it's not like a it's a big charity but it's not like um a charity like stonewall or kaleidoscope you know that's trying to like change laws and you know do things from that side It's a charity for um, LGBTQ plus queer people to reach out for help Mm -hmm. if they need it. You know, like Mm -hmm. kind of like, I don't know if you guys have the Samaritans over there, like a kind of crisis helpline Mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, Mm -hmm. we have we have that over there. And that's, you know, that's what it is. It's putting especially younger people in touch with, um, you know, counselors and crisis uh, crisis helplines and things Mm -hmm. like that and also putting again especially younger people in touch with other lgbtq plus people other queer people you know the biggest thing you can do for these kids is show them that they're not on their own Mm -hmm. you know that they're not they're not weird like who they are is not wrong Mm -hmm. and it feels like in the world right now in the uk in the US, that's all they must be hearing, you know, yeah. that they're wrong, that, that, you know, 
who they are is not right, who they want to be is not right. Everything about them is wrong. And, you know, that's hard enough as a, as a queer adult to deal with. But when you're still trying to figure it out, yeah, that's even worse, you know? Mm-hmm. So that's it's it's the Trevor Project for the USA and it's Switchboard LGBT for the UK. Again, similar kind of premise, um, not a charity that's, you know, going to be going up against newspapers and media outlets and things like that. A charity for people who need to talk to people because I think that's that's one of the most important things that we need right now mm-hmm. is to come together. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's Definitely. not let the, you know, lend lend your voice if you can to the bigger causes. But right now we're under attack from it feels like all sides. And the only thing to do is just band together, yeah. you know, protect, protect the people that need protecting and you know those of us that have got maybe that that thicker skin although we shouldn't have it but those of us that do you know we'll stand on the edge and we'll shout and we'll make our voices heard but in the Mm. middle we need to protect the people that need that and ultimately that is the kids that are growing up now and when I think what my childhood was like compared to the childhood that some some kids who are lucky and live in liberal areas have it's wildly different the things that are socially acceptable now that were just not socially acceptable mm-hmm. when I was a kid is mm-hmm. insane but equally the me like obviously we can have social media so there were less people to tell you that you were wrong mm-hmm. whereas it seems like that's all you hear now that's everywhere that's you turn that's what on. you hear yeah yeah, trans being trans is wrong, or being non-binary is wrong, or this is wrong, or that's wrong, or you know. And I'm sure there are still still places out there in the UK, still places out there in the USA that are going, oh, it's wrong to be gay, or it's wrong to be a lesbian, or yeah. you know, it's it's wrong to be, you know, just constantly you are wrong, and mm-hmm. you're not. Mm-hmm. If and like Supernatural is well known for having a big queer following, um, and you know kids out there that are listening to this adults out there that are listening to this we're not wrong you know Mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with who we are and we just got to band together so these charities are out here if you need them they're there for you if you can help them donate to them please do because i'm gonna be honest it's starting to feel a little bit like a war and Mm -hmm. i don't know how we're gonna change it yeah i don't know what we're gonna do to fight back on that one I mean, oh well, we've got we'll have to start somewhere, right? So that's it. We've yeah. we've got to start somewhere. We've got to start small. So take Sandra's links, you know, because they're yours. Yours are good for like gun violence and the attacks on women's health. And you know, if you've got feelings about LGBTQ plus people, take them to your representatives. You know, if your state is rampantly anti LGBTQ and you want to change that, take it to the people who can do that. Mm -hmm. you know get that information get that help get that information on your id for voting things like that and from my perspective these are places you can reach out if you need to and if you can support them please do good that's good cool no one else i don't know also (laughs) have you fucking seen have you seen Fuck me, I can't remember what state it is. But they've now decided that um, in a bid to stop trans athletes, children, fucking babies, competing in sports, they're looking at bringing in, like, literal fucking examinations and blood tests I and hormone tests of girls. A couple... I saw that a few nights ago. I was talking to Ted about it, that they're going to... They're, they are going to allow physical examinations all sorts of it's it's i'm like i don't even understand i don't understand like the the focus on i guess the focus is on the wrong stuff right like the focus is on the sports or the what the parents want for their kids to be able to 
I mean, there's already insanity with like sports in general anyway, and how people are so very diehard and um, crazed, Mm. but it's just on a whole other level with that. You know, I, I saw that and I, I can't remember. It's, I can't remember what state is, is Ohio, Tennessee. It's, it's, I can't remember what state it is now, but it's, um, that I saw that. And I, I, I literally was, you know, I pointed it out to Ted. I said, what's going on but I um I'll tell you that I just like as an aside too with that is I started I started rewatching um The Handmaid's Tale I'd only gotten through like part of the first season and I started watching the start of season two and that's when and I'd read the book um before you know so I I know it's kind of like Mm -hmm. very telling of like where we kind of are as a society now but they were showing the capital being under attack and like the first the first episode and how the females were sort of being slowly interrogated about you know what how they're how they're raising their kids and what and I'm like oh and it's just like oh my god like why why is this happening and it's just I don't know, Carly. I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't, know. I don't know. I don't know. We're, we're holding our hands up guys. We, we don't know. Yeah. yeah. We don't know. I mean, I think it's been, uh, right. It's been like that slow burn, right? Like, and I think people are just like, you know, we've slowly, we're being boiled, you know, that, that saying. Where yeah. You, temperature keeps going up and you don't really see it until it's probably too late um yeah we obviously haven't learned our lesson with the insurrection and everything else or with trump and all that nonsense here so uh it's just it's compiling compiling and again like trump isn't the reason right he's one of the um products right of like everything that's kind of been brewing for years and years and years and he's just this blatant um, flashing sign of these are all the things we don't want, but yet we have a portion of the population that chooses to believe that here, that, you know, uh, they're being mm-hmm. wronged and that, you know, our country is is going to shit because of certain things that they think are, are wrong um, and need to be championed and yeah. supported and it's I can't. it's hard to figure out how you, you know the voice of honestly the majority the feeling of the majority is is more than the minority but they're just so vocal it's kind of like how we talk about you know the fandom on supernatural like on another level you know you've got the, cr- mm-hmm. the crazies or whatever however you want to talk it that are they're <laughs> you know, the, the, that's all you see. Right. But then, you know, there are more people behind the scenes that are rational, are decent, you know, want to be respectful of each other, Mm -hmm. but the ones that are making all the noise are the ones that are, are getting the attention. Unfortunately, that's transitioning into votes and laws, you know, because the people that are making the most noise are the ones that certain politicians want to appease and keep in their corner. So, yeah, mm-hmm. I, I don't know. Yeah. I I'm also, my state is just very, you know, I mean, at least in terms of voting and how our votes go, we've always, I can't say always, but uh, I mean, as long as I can remember, we've always gone, you know, Democrat you know, when it comes to presidential elections Mm -hmm. or whatever. So I think for me, it was also the, I, I worry about when that's going to shift, you know, in my state. So, but it's a lot different here than it is in Texas or in Florida. Um, Yeah. You know, and it's figuring out how I can make a difference. You know what I mean? Like in those States, uh, that's where it becomes a thing. You know, I can support, but how do I make my voice matter in that state kind of deal? So, yeah, yeah. that's that's kind of it. I was I was talking to you and Dee in the in the group chat the other day and um, I just reached like 
just critical overload. And I was like, there are so many things and mm-hmm. I don't know where to throw my voice. Mm-hmm. Where Where is it going to be the loudest? You know, mm-hmm. is it going to be as a person um, with a uterus, you know, for mm-hmm. female reproductive rights? Like, oh, I don't use mine anymore, mm-hmm. but like I, I have one. So mm-hmm. in theory, mm-hmm. my voice has weight there. Is it, you know, as a queer person, is it as a liberal? You know, mm-hmm. I don't know where to put my voice that it's going to be the loudest, the most effective, because there's so many causes now. And yeah. I'm like, I'm only one person. Yeah. And I, I care about all of them, but I can't, mm-hmm. I can't dedicate to all of them, you know? So yeah. then you just, you just end up sort of just crippled with, this is almost paralyzed with anxiety because you're like, well, I can't do all of the things, but I don't know which of the things to dedicate my time to. So I'll do none of the things Mm -hmm. and then feel cripplingly guilty about doing nothing. Yeah. Which is, you know, and I just, I think this, this, this seems to be, this seems to be more of an issue in the USA, but I don't know if that's because just because people are more vocal about it there, but I just, I, I have been called a snowflake multiple times in my life um I own it a lefty liberal snowflake just big old big old lefty liberal here but I'm just like how do you as a like as a gun owner let's say how do you see little fucking babies babies being shot down and not think they should stop that I should they need to take the guns away and I will give mine up Mm -hmm. you know Mm-hmm. or a, a christian and i put that in massive massive inverted commas a christian how can you be so hateful and still think you're going to heaven like, yeah. i'm 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 not religious in any in any way really although i very much envy the truly faithful mm-hmm. because i think that must be a nice way to live i think that must be nice to entrust to feel like there's someone watching out for you to feel like whatever your struggles are that somebody is watching out for you and Mm -hmm. is going to help you make the hard decisions in life Mm -hmm. I think that must be very peaceful but how do you you know like a, a, a religious parent how do you birth and raise a child and then kick it out and act like it's dead because of who they love or who they want to be yeah. I don't how yeah how I um I don't get it you know how do you how how can you possibly value a collection of cells over the life of the 12 year old girl that was raped to conceive it mm-hmm. how is that even I don't I don't get it I yeah. genuinely and I'm like yeah, maybe I'm, maybe I'm too lefty. You know, maybe maybe I live in an echo chamber. Of maybe there's a rational explanation for all of these things. And then I think, no, there can't be. No, no, there can't be. This is just insane. Yeah, yeah.